Hey guys, what's up? Finally, we are on this last game for today, uh, March 22nd, 2023. Uh, this is the battle between Phoenix Suns and Los Angeles Lakers. That'll happen at around 10 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time, so that's going to be 10 o'clock a.m. here in Manila. I'm just inviting everyone who have not subscribed yet to our YouTube account or YouTube channel, Pasay Baller. Please click on the subscribe button below. At the same time, hit on that bell logo. That way, automatically, you guys will be receiving notifications whenever new videos are uploaded. By the way, the spread that is given, it's minus 1.5. That's actually given towards the visiting team, the Phoenix Suns. And before we proceed, let's check on the standings and the rankings of these two teams. Both belong to the Western Conference. For Phoenix Suns, they are at number 4 with a record of 38 wins and 33 losses. While for Los Angeles Lakers, they are at number 11, uh, trying to you know uh, get into the top 10 spot so that they can uh, get involved in that 7-10 to 10 puzzle. Uh, they got a record of 35 and 37, and they are just half a game behind the number 10 team, which is Utah Jazz with 35 and 36. So really, Los Angeles Lakers would need and want this game. Now for Phoenix Suns, um, they are at 38 and 33, and they just want to make sure that they would uh, indeed be holding on uh, to that top 1 to 6 spot, if possible, top 1 to top 4, so that they can enjoy some home court advantage. Alright, Los Angeles Lakers, they would have the home court advantage on this. Um, in terms of fatigue, both teams are coming off rest, so we can just skip that part. Momentum-wise, man, Los Angeles Lakers, they are coming off a win, while Phoenix Suns, they're com they are coming off a loss. Now, if we take a look at their forms, uh, Los Angeles Lakers, they have won 6 out of their last 10, while Phoenix, they have lost... I mean, they have won five out of uh, their last ten, um, mainly because of that uh, Kevin Durant injury out of that warm-up session. Okay. Um, all right, so let's take a look at the availability of the players for both teams, okay? Now, for Phoenix Suns, um, it didn't get better for them when they lost KD, and uh, actually they uh, they now have a DA out for this game too. So two, two of their main players, main guys or two of their stars are actually out for los angeles lakers lebron is still out uh while one of their bigs mo bamba is also out anthony davis listed as questionable or game time decision but we all know um highly likely he would indeed be playing on this one this one's a toss coin i gotta be honest i mean a lot of people are saying that hey it's gonna be lakers because you know what um they need it badly and they need they want and they need it more and yes they may be right um uh, but man, Phoenix Suns, I know they don't have KD. I know DA is out, but if you take a look at the matchups, um, they have they have bigs. You know, they have uh, Biombo. They have other bigs who can actually um, uh, um, go alternate uh, in terms of uh, trying to uh, put a you know put a put a limit on what AD can do. Of course, AD can still score. AD can grab those rebounds. But uh, if you are one of those bigs of Phoenix Suns. You just need to at least minimize the damage that AD can do. Now, for Los Angeles Lakers, they also have D'Angelo Russell, and again, we uh, for Phoenix Suns, they have Booker. I mean, I got a lot, of, I got a lot, I got a lot of love for D'Angelo Russell, but man, Booker is Booker. Um, uh, and I think the main or the key difference on this particular game would be Chris Paul. Um, for Chris, for for Phoenix Suns. Uh, they have Chris Paul, who can definitely score, who can set up his teammates. And for Los Angeles Lakers, matchup-wise, it may be Russell or it may be... Um, I'm not really sure if, uh, if it is actually um, a, a Troy Brown, if they can put Troy Brown. But I, I, just, I just don't know, man. Uh, Troy Brown is a bit, a bit bigger slash... Off in terms of uh, trying to uh, trying to put the stop on Chris Paul, I think the the their best starter, uh, you know, to to try to put the stop on Chris Paul would be D'Angelo Russell, um, and maybe it's gonna be Troy or Malik Beasley trying to you know trying to guard um, uh, Booker, um, and maybe Schroeder. Yeah, Schroeder can actually uh, you know try to put uh, try to put uh, some sticky defense on Chris Paul. Um, Chris Paul is no longer the, the you know the old uh, the, the old Chris Paul that we know who can actually score like 25 points in each night, he can have 15, 13 assists easily. But Chris Paul is still Chris Paul. Uh, the spread is just a little you know it's just a little bit minus 1.5. 
Again, this is going to be hard. This is, you know, this is like a toss coin, but I really feel like it's going to be Phoenix Suns at the end of the, you know, at the end of the game or at the end of the day, he would actually uh, take his home. Um, other uh, X factors would be Josh Okogie and Tori Craig. Um, a lot of people don't, don't talk about those two players, but man, a lot of a lot of Phoenix's wins are because of those two X factors that Phoenix has. So my pick would be Phoenix minus 1.5. Again, that's Suns minus 1.5. Peace out, pasay love, and God bless.